I can see in the chat. Uh, we are going to be recording this session today. So if you miss any parts, you can always hear it back later. And um, it'll be on Capital Blue Cross's YouTube page. And let me just pull up the chat. Just one couple more buttons I have to click before we get going. So um, what I have, the colors that I have that I'm going to be using today are, let me see, I have white and black. We're gonna be making a gray. And I know the white's kind of hard to see, but it's right there on the plate. Um, I have brown, I have yellow, orange, red. And of course, you know, you could make orange with the yellow and the red. And then I have a little bit of green. You can change your forest to whatever setting you want, whatever colors you want. Um, but we're gonna do the background first and I'm gonna draw out the cardinal shape for you. We're doing the cardinal pair. I'm gonna draw out the cardinal shape for you. Um, just so you see where it's going. And then we'll talk about the colors that we're going to use for the female and the male. And then we'll start to build the forest and then put the cardinals on the branch. So I'm just going to grab my pad of paper here and show you how I'm going to do the cardinal shapes. Now they are, um, it's going to look different with the Sharpie, of course, than with the paint, but I just want to show you the general shapes that we're going to make. And then when we get to it, it's going to be a lot easier to see in your head. So I'm um, drawing it really big on here, but the shape of the Cardinal's head, if you just can envision at first a circle. Okay. And then this is just, if you want to sketch it out first, I am going to be doing like an oval body. I know you're like, what are you doing? This does not look like a Cardinal. Looks like a snowman. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna join those shapes together, this like rounded body, and you're going to get rid of that circle shape in there. So we'll join these shapes together. The female's gonna be a little bit wider. We'll get rid of these lines here. You won't need them anymore, okay? The cardinal's head comes up, those head feathers, okay? He is going to have the mask in black goes down into his body and comes out to the side here, okay? His beak, we're gonna do the cardinal head on. It's gonna be a triangle pointed upwards and then not a triangle, but like a V-shape then downwards, okay? Their eyes are black, tiny black eyes. So we're gonna do an outer circle and then an inner circle in black. We're gonna put the wings on. Okay, we're gonna put the tail feathers on. It's gonna hang behind the branch. It's gonna hang down. The branch is going to actually come in front of his body here. We're gonna put the female on then too. We're gonna to draw like a U shape there and his claws are gonna go, talons, excuse me, are gonna go onto the branch. Okay, and I mean, this will look different once we get it on and then we're gonna start to paint it. So these tail feathers are gonna fall behind that guy and um, then we're gonna start to paint it in. Now, let me just show you, I'm just gonna grab my paintbrush and just show you just briefly because it looks like a cartoon kind of cardinal right now. And that's not what I really wanna go for. But um, when we start doing it in paint, we are going to you know join these lines in so we won't have all these distracting lines. We'll paint this in, this is paper. So, you know, paint doesn't move that well on paper. We'll paint this in and then we'll put a little bit of shading on here. So this is a red orange. It's not really a pink orange. Um, you know, this color wouldn't turn pink if I blend it white into it, it'll just turn like a little bit lighter. So I am going to take this up to the head feathers. I'm just giving you like a brief overview of what we're doing. And we'll put a little lightness down towards his belly, okay? Just a little bit of shading, like in here, it'll be a little lighter, a little lighter over here. We'll put some lightness down in the feathers. Wow, that looks, that looks like um, a mess right now, doesn't it? But I want you to see where this is, where this is gonna go. We are going to paint this whole mask in in black. Okay. And then the beak is going to be a yellow. 
with a tinge of orange, okay? So this is all gonna be black. We'll put a little red on the outside of it and that's the way it's gonna go. So ignore what this sketch is looking like. It's just a sketch, but I wanted you to see how we're going to be building our cardinals. And of course, I'm sure you guys all know this, that the female shape is a little bit, um, the female is going to be a little bit wider and her coloring is different. She's going to have yellow. She's going to have a little bit of a soft red, like almost like a pink. She is going to have gray on her. So um, we're going to just change it up just a little bit. The shape of her when we go to do her, we'll put the beak in there. And then you're going to want to grab a tiny, tiny brush to get that eye shape in there. Okay. Then to add some little details. All right, so that's how we're gonna build our cardinal. I know this guy looks really big right now. Once we get it onto the campus, it's gonna be smaller. He'll be a little bit sleeker. He won't be like so, so big and cartoon-like, but um, I just wanted you to see the steps and the shapes that we're gonna use to do it, okay? So when we go to do all that oval for the cardinal, if you want a taller looking cardinal, you wanna get that oval just a little bit taller and maybe the circle for the head just a little bit thinner. If you want to turn your cardinal on its side, you can always angle that oval that we made for the body to have it on its side. So just some tips and some ways that you can change your, um, your painting to fit you. We will come back to the cardinals in a little bit, but what we're going to do now is we're going to build the forest in the background. Okay. So I don't have the fin I don't have a finished painting with me, Audrey. I just do it as we go along. So, um, I do not have the finished painting to show you until the end. So what we're gonna do is I am going to grab a bigger brush, okay? And you can hold your painting either way, whichever way you want, horizontal or vertical. But I, today for this painting, I'm gonna hold it horizontally just because it's a little bit easier to get the two cardinals on for that way. This is a nine by 12 canvas, just to give you a little bit of, um, a feeling for what size I'm using, okay? So I am going to do a series of trees in the background. I'm going to keep my background white. So if you don't have a white background on your canvas right now, or if you painted over another painting, you should decide what color you want in the background. Blue looks good in the background, a light uh, white, creamy white looks good. And I'm gonna do a series of dark brown, um, trees and light brown trees. And maybe once in a while I'll pop like a gray tree in there. So I'm going to keep it really subtle and natural in the background. This brush is rounded on the top and I am just going to start making some lines going in the back, just nice thick lines. Every once in a while I'll have a few branches coming off the side, really, really light. Okay, I am gonna vary the thicknesses of the branches or of the trees. So they're not all of the same dimension because that would just, you know, throw your eye off a little bit. You want it to look natural. So this tree is gonna be a little bit thinner. Okay, and because I'm holding it, my trees of course are going to be a little bit crooked. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some branches. I'm just turning my, my paintbrush on its side and doing the branches, or you can always grab a bigger paintbrush. But what happens is these smaller and lighter tree trunks start to fall in the background and the darker trees start to come into the foreground. So I'm just gonna do another dark one right here, make this pretty thick. So I'm turning my paintbrush flat on, rolling it down to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. Okay, I'll have some branches come over those other trees that I made. Okay, so that pulls it into the foreground also. And I'm gonna do a whole series of trees just going in the back, all right? So you wanna spend a few minutes just building up your forest in the background. Really light here. So a light one, a dark one few branches on each one. And if you wanna change that background color, you would do that first, okay? You would put that, that color for the background on first. I find trees very therapeutic. So this is where you can actually, you can change you know, the seasons that you have for, 
for this painting. If you wanted it to put some leaves on the tree trunks, on the tree branches, you can do that. If you wanna make it a fall painting, bright green leaves for spring, you can do that. If you wanna leave it bare, like a winter painting, you could also do that. So if you're gonna do a winter painting, maybe you wanna add some snow. We haven't seen much snow around here, but um, if you wanna add snow, I recommend doing a gray background, light gray background, or doing a light blue background. It always looks pretty with snow on it. Okay, Let me just make sure you can see that. So just vary the lengths of the width, I'm sorry, of the tree trunks and vary the coloring of it. So I'm just dipping in brown and dipping in white. And going all the way across. Has anyone been painting in their in their free time? After the holidays are over, your house is quiet down. Has anyone gotten out their painting stuff and, and started to paint? I kind of had to put it away during the holidays because the house was busy. So I'm finally getting it out again and starting to paint. Okay, so I'm gonna make these really light. Some really light ones that are gonna fall in the background. Cause I don't want them to be too prominent. I really would like, that one's pretty dark. I really want some dark, I'm gonna put some dark ones on, some thicker ones so that um, the cardinals will really stand out, okay? Some light ones. And this one might be a little too dark. So I'll just run some white over top of it. Just a really subtle background. So you can make this as dark or as light as you want. I wanna keep mine really subtle. If you wanna get a little bit more three-dimensional, so you can actually, you can put some trees further back. Pop one right in there, you see that? It doesn't go all the way to the bottom. It's right about there. It's just like a, so I'll do another one right here. I'll make it a little darker so you can see it. Really light. I just start them back just a little bit. I'm glad to be back too. I'm glad to be back painting. Tell me, is the I have a light on top of me. Can you let me know if the if there's a glare or if you if you are seeing this okay? Okay, so we just want to build the forest up. So I have some coming all the way to the bottom, and I have a couple just tucked back there that start about an inch up the canvas. Okay, so some go all the way to the bottom of the canvas and some start right there. And that just gives the illusion that it's gonna like pull your eye to the back. And just make it a little bit more involved and intricate. Looks more like a forest. And I'm just dipping my paintbrush in brown, dipping it in white. So it, there's a slight glare, but it's okay. Let me just move this just a little bit. Maybe that's better. Okay. Always tricky. Maybe that's a little better, what do you think? There. How's that? Okay. So just brown and then white. I'll go all the way to the edge. And this part is just, I don't know, for me, I could do branches and trees all day long. Now in nature, a branch is not going to stop because a tree's there, right? So don't be afraid to take your paintbrush and just go across some of these. Okay, so that's how you build your forest. If you want to, I just want to show you a few things before you get really into it. Um, Where's my small brush? The small brush always falls into my water cup. So if you want to, I wanna show you what it looks like on mine so that you can, you can decide whether you wanna do it or not. If you wanted to add you know, leaves, you wanna do that 
before we put the cardinals on. And all I'm doing is I'm just taking a small brush and wherever I have the branches, I'll just put a few little dabs of, I'll do green paint, maybe green and yellow. Or you can keep it, I really like the trees bare. So if you wanna keep it like that, you can, or you can add a few little sparse leaves on it, whatever you think. Okay, and if you are doing snow, you might wanna add the snow before you add the cardinals back there, just little dots of snow. So I'm just adding a few little tree leaves, just subtle, 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 yellow and green. And these will fall in the background. Okay, so a couple of minutes doing that, I'm keeping it really nice and light. That's my dog, someone's walking by. Bandit, Bandit likes to just bark at <laughs> He's part basset hound, so he kind of like has this weird howl bark. Okay, so this is how we build our, I have to remember it's not too cold out to put him out before we start our sessions. He's kind of like a lazy dog. So he just um, falls asleep and he's usually so quiet unless someone comes by. So that's how we build our forest to begin with. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do, once I get that built, I'm gonna put a big tree trunk, probably right about here right on top of this. And it's going to be the one that the Cardinals are gonna sit on. So just build the forest first, get it the way you like, tuck some trees further back there. And then we're gonna put a big tree chunk on there and that's where our Cardinals are gonna sit, okay? So I'm gonna start doing that just because of time. I wanna make sure we get to both Cardinals. So don't forget that this is being recorded. So you can always watch it on their YouTube page, Capital Blue Cross's YouTube page. and it'll be on like in a day or two. So um, don't rush, don't ever rush your painting. What I'm going to do is make the tree trunk that the Cardinals are gonna sit on a little bit darker. So it's gonna be the darkest one in the forest and because it's gonna sit in the foreground, it is gonna be the biggest one, okay? So I'm gonna put a tree trunk here and a branch and that's where our birds are gonna sit. So I'm going to take brown really dark brown, so hardly any white this time. I know I have trees there, it's okay, I'm gonna go over them, all right? So you wanna make sure yours is wet. No, you wanna make sure yours is dry. You forgot how I teach, I usually make mistakes the whole time. You haven't seen me in like a month, so <laughs> I'm back. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I am going to go right over this, and the reason I do all the trees all over in the background. It just lets my mind kind of like relax and get into it. And then I can go back and put that tree right where I want it. And I still have some little trees poking out in the background. So this one's gonna be dark. This one's gonna be the thickest, okay? This one's gonna have probably some more detail in the trunk because we're gonna be able to see this the most. Birch trees look really pretty with the cardinals also. Okay, so this one's gonna be the thickest. Remember, mine's always slightly crooked because I'm holding it. I am gonna take a branch, okay? And I am going to take my paintbrush right here, right in the wet paint, and I'm just gonna run it, kind of make it a little bit curvy right across. So I just took my paintbrush and I just kind of like curved it and then to get that thin at the end, you can either stop right there and take a small brush, or I kind of just twist my brush and just kind of like let it get thin at the end. Don't be afraid to always go to a, like you can go to a small brush though if you want. That seems to be the biggest question I get when I'm doing tree branches is how do you get that thin at the end? So I usually just take my paintbrush, just kind of twist it at the end and pick it up. But you can always take a teeny tiny brush and just add like a little, skinny little thing at the end. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to start building our cardinals on the tree branch that's sticking out there, okay? And we're going to use the shapes, the circle and the oval just to set them right. And if you wanna wait till yours is dry and do it in pencil, there is nothing wrong with that. You could always do that. Or you could do like I'm gonna do, and I am going to do a light gray color kind of like the color of a pencil. 
and I'll just blend it into my cardinal red. Okay. Now I am going to do it darker than you should at home. If I do it too light, you won't be able to see it. So I just want to make sure that you can see it. So I'm going to do it a little bit darker. So you might see my lines through the other lines, but you know what I'm doing. So um, let me just make sure my paintbrush is okay. All right. I'm going to mix gray, a little bit of black, a little bit of black because black's really strong and white. I'm going to mix that together on my plate. Let me put this down so I can show you. So I just took a dab of white and a tiny like pencil point of black. So hardly any just to make a light gray. Okay. Where did I put it? Right here. Okay. Mix that. I'm going to make mine just a little bit darker so you can see it. And we're going to start making our cardinal pairs. Okay. So I'm going to make the female. No, I'm going to make the male first and then the, then the female. So I'm going to start out here and notice that I made my branch long enough. Cause then it gives me, it gives me enough room to put the two cardinals. Okay. So I, I'm looking at my hair in this camera. I did do my hair. I just can't tell. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. All right. So here we go. I am going to take a circle for the head. Notice how I'm doing it in gray. Now, if you don't need these circles and ovals and you, you think you have the shape of the cardinal down, you don't have to put them, okay? No, no worries on that. And then I'm gonna put, now I even, I should make this a little bit bigger because I'm realizing that I need a, an oval to go all the way to that branch, okay? So circle and then an oval. We're gonna work this fast so that we can get this blended in. Just a light gray. We're gonna put these two shapes together, just like that. And at this point, you can erase those lines. Okay, you don't need them anymore. Then you're gonna take the wing down, just curves down, a little line there. And then right over here, the wing curves down. You're going to have the tail feathers come under the branch. Okay. So that's what makes it look like he's sitting. They come down into a point. Let me just make sure that I get this on here for you. Now, mine is really dark. You don't want yours this dark. Okay. And then don't forget those head feathers, which make the cardinal so regal looking. So it's just going to go up. I kind of curve mine over just a little bit just like that, okay? I am going to put the mask in right now just because I have this gray. And anyone out there that knows the, you know, if there's, if I'm, I'm sure it's not called a mask. I'm sure there's like correct terminology for the parts of the cardinal. So I'm just putting that in there and I'm gonna paint that in. I'm gonna block out that little beak shape so like a little diamond shape and I'm going to paint that black in and just let it dry. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash off my brush and dry it off. If you have a bigger brush than this, I would, I would use it. This is so tiny, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting my cardinal in and this gray is going to blend in to my red so it'll make it like a dark color okay and then if it gets you know if it gets too muddy or there's too you put too much gray on and you, and it's really like blending and you want it brighter it's okay you can just do two coats okay so i'm taking the red around i know he doesn't have any eyes yet but we'll do that at the end Take the red down and I just kind of let the paint wear off my paintbrush. So it gets a little lighter there at the end of the wings. Take it down. 
you know, my one son is a huge bird watcher. Oh, he loves it. And you know, he knows all his birds and he would know the correct terminology for anything bird related, but I just know beak, wings, tail feathers. I don't even know if the head feathers, if that has like a correct name, the crown of the cardinal. So I'm just blending this in. Okay, a bigger brush might be a little bit more helpful than this tiny brush that I'm using, but it works. And then don't forget that these tail feathers are behind the branch, okay? So you want to, don't paint it over the branch. Telling myself that too. Don't paint on the branch, Joey, with the red. Go behind, okay? And they kind of come down. And you know what? It actually looks nice with the dark gray outlining our bird. Just like that. And we'll come back and we can put the details on then. But um, what I usually do is in the gray, I just make a little U shape, like right at the bottom of his belly there two U shapes. And then that is where I take his talons and it's just a line, like three little hooks. So I'm going to do it in black, but I think the Cardinal, so mine's really dark. I don't know if you want it this dark. I'll put some yellow over top of that then. Okay. So what I'm going to do, and this is going to be it's going to look a little strange for a minute, but I want it to dry is I want to put the eye shape sense that we can go back and do it in gray. So I am going to put just two dots in white. He does not have white eyes. Okay. It's going to be gray, but I need that to dry and I'm kind of whiting out that black that we put in and then I'll be able to put gray on top of that. Okay. And then we have our beak right in the middle. And what I do is I mix orange and yellow together. So it gives me a really pretty yellow color, yellow and orange together. And if your black is really wet, just wait to do that and do that little diamond shape for his beak in there. Okay, we'll come back to the eyes in a minute. You know that my black is still wet right here for his talons and I'll come back and I'll put yellow on that in a minute. Okay, now the female, we're gonna do her the same. We're gonna make her a little bit wider. We're just gonna turn her just slightly. So it looks like she's almost like sitting, like leaning kind of on our, our cardinal guy, okay? So um, we're gonna do the shapes again. I got my little sketch together. And um, <clears throat> it's a combination of colors and she's really, she's softer, right? So what we're gonna do is make gray again. And I'm gonna put her right here. And my branch was long enough that I can, that I can go right next to him. Okay, so the first shape, and you know this, is the, cir whoop, the circle. Okay, I am going to do her, the oval just slightly turned. So not straight up and down, but just slightly angled towards him. So it's on a slight angle. Okay, so it's kind of like on a diagonal instead of straight up and down. We're gonna join those two shapes. Okay, so you wanna join that back there. I, lo I love when the shapes come together and they make something. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the best thing for me. Like, I don't know, I get happy doing that the littlest things, but I think it's so cool how you can just take shapes and turn them into something. All right, now she's a little wider. So I'm gonna take her, the bottom of her body and just make it just a little bit wider. Okay, and, and female cardinals are, I can't talk. Female cardinals are a little bit smaller than the male cardinals. So you can make her smaller. Um, for the camera purposes, I'm making it just almost the same size, but don't be afraid to make it smaller if you want. So I'm going to put the wing right here. Okay, let me get that darker so you can see it. So the wing right here and the other wing right here kind of falls behind the branch. Okay, I'm going to do the tail feathers under the branch. 
One there. Is everyone doing okay? Is everyone, I just want to check. I'm just here painting and I, I haven't checked in to make sure everyone's doing okay. All right, now she has a mask. Okay, so we're going to take that black and we're going to turn the mask. Now her beak's going to be slightly angled. I'm not making her fully turn to the side. So it's still the same shape that we did, just a slight angle on it, okay? So I'm just taking her, her um, mask right there. I'm gonna bring her head up just a little bit. And she has kind of like a fluffier tail feather or head feathers than, than him and a little bit smaller. So I know this looks the same size, but you can make hers a little bit smaller. Okay, now the coloring of our um, female. I'm gonna break the wings into like three different parts here. So I'm putting a line here and a line here, okay? And then I'm looking at my chart, you guys, so that's, so, and then I'm gonna split the belly just a little bit into two sections, okay? So the wing has a little bit of, um, different colors, she's so pretty. And then the, the belly is a little bit of color mixture. So let me get the right paintbrush. Okay, and this is going to be the bottom of the wing I'm gonna do first. The bottom of the wing is gonna be gray. Okay, so it's gray at the bottom. And the gray outline is gonna look really nice on your on your cardinal, okay? Gray at the bottom. It is going to be, I think she has a little bit of gray up at her, up at the top of her head, which is great, okay? Then I'm going to do yellow. So we're gonna switch to, actually, she has a little bit of red in here, a soft red though, not a bright red. So you might wanna mix it with a little bit of white and she's definitely nowhere near as vibrant red as, her friend on the branch here. So this is just a soft red in this second part of the wing, okay? Just a soft red. And all I did was take my red and mix it with a little bit of white. And then she has a little bit of that red up at the top, that light red top of her head, okay? Tiny bit. Now what we're gonna do, we wanna start from the bottom of the wing up and then those yellow, the yellow of her the rest of her body will just kind of blend over top of it. So the bottom of her belly is going to be white. So I'm going to put the white in now. Goes right to the branch. Okay. I'm going to mix yellow and white because the yellow I have is really bright. So depending on what color yellow you have, I know there's a lot of different yellows you can use but I want it like a nice, soft, pretty yellow. So remember we made those shapes. We wanna blend those in. We don't wanna see the circle and the oval anymore. Okay, we wanna blend that in. Go over to the wing. I'm using a small brush. It, it should, I should have a different brush. It should be a little bit bigger. Okay, and see how my gray like blended into her feathers because that's what I outlined it in. It's not a big deal. I'll just come back in a little bit and I will um, just do a second coat. You're gonna take this yellow up around her mask. You want some towards the back because remember we angled her just a little bit. So you will see the back of her head just a little bit. Okay, and you wanna take that yellow up towards her head. Okay. And then down here, her tail feathers are like a yellowish orange. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the yellow on first. And you could definitely go back with a second coat and really get in there with the feathers. And this is a good one to do collage with too. You know, you can take different pieces of paper and build onto the cardinal shapes and actually like do, um, like a textured bird for the, hold on, I can't talk in paint. Um, to, 
you can actually add some texture to it. Now, our cardinal female should be smaller than the male. So I just want you to remember that when you go to draw yours. Mine is like almost the same size. She might even be a little bigger. Just make your card, the cardinal female is smaller. So I just want you to remember that when you do that. Um, sometimes I just have to make things just a little bit different for the camera. So now I'm just putting a little bit of orange over top of this, just to give it like a pretty, she has a pretty tail there. So it's just yellow and orange mixed together. Okay, then what we're gonna do is same thing that I did with the male cardinal. I'm gonna white out the beak and I'm gonna white out the eyes so that I can get a nice color in there when I go to do it. So, and anytime you're using a dark color, so I'm gonna put that diamond shape for her beak, okay? And I'm gonna put two dots for the eyes and I'll come back in a minute when it's dry. And you can take your small brush and you can actually, you know, go back with colors. I'm doing it in white now, but you can come back and actually make like little feather marks in there if you want. Okay, like when you're gonna do a second coat, you can come back and just put a little texture in there. And if your gray blends in, you're gonna wanna do another coat of that just to really brighten that up. She should be a soft, soft yellow. Okay, she's not a harsh yellow. She's a really pretty pastel yellow. So mine's looking a little bit too bright here. So I'll go back and I'll mix it with some white. I'll make it really pretty. Okay. And just blend that in. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my male bird and I'm going to put his eyes in. So they are gray and then they're surrounded with black. And I know he has a black mask, but it'll still show up. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to fill in the white with the gray. So then that becomes like a little bit lighter. So you see how you can see them, even though it's dark. And then we're going to put black, a black circle. So a really tiny brush helps here around his eye. Now, if you wanted to give it a little bit of, of life, you can always put a little dot of white in the eye. Okay. Tiny dot. So just take your time. And these are bigger than I want. And it looks like exactly what I just painted over, but um, just a tiny dot of white. And if you want to put a tiny little highlight on the beak, it kind of makes it stand out just a little bit. Okay, we'll go back to his talons and we will put them in in yellow. Okay, and we'll go back to the female. Her beak, I think her beak is gray and you can correct me if I'm wrong. And now this is still really white. So wait till it's dry and you'll put this in, in gray. And then you're gonna take your gray, you're gonna put it in the eye, same way that we just did this. And we're gonna take a circle around each eye of black. And then a little dot of white in each eye. I'm gonna have to double look what um and her her um mash shouldn't dip down there like that. It should kind of go like across. There you go. Okay, and I'm not sure whether her beak is gray or um. Orange. I just want to see, I have a comment here and I just want to read it. Um, oh, it's all about exciting things happening in California at the California Condor. That's awesome. I will tell my son to check that out. Yep, he's a definite bird lover. Okay, we're going to put her talons in. So remember, it's just a little U at the bottom of her body. Little U. I put it right on the branch, like, like right at the bottom of her belly. Then a line comes out and kind of goes over the branch, three little lines. Once it dries, you can put it in in yellow or orange. And then look up 
whether the female cardinal is a gray beak or an orange beak, because that'll be helpful with those small beaks. Once you get them in, you can go back and do a second layer of the paint and it'll really make it pop, okay? And then we kept the background, as you know, very, very subtle. So you can always go back and add different details to it or pop that up if you want it a little bit brighter. You can always go back and you can add, you know, some branches around them once you get them painted in. So let me just show you. You can add some branches here, you know, really make this come out. You can add um, leaves and berries to this. So I saw a picture online and they had berries at the end of the branch, which is really pretty. Um, but we, since we had leaves on ours, we can just always, I'm gonna add some leaves here in the front just to carry the theme from the back, our background. Here, I mean, um, you could do some spring trees if you want, make some cherry blossoms. Okay, so you can add some leaves all around here and that just gives you a pop of green to go around your birds. And this is a really, I love doing this with trees. If you're giving this to someone, it's always like a really cool way to sign it or to send a message. You can always carve your name in the tree. So I usually take like brown and black and mix it together just to make it a little bit darker. And I'll carve my name in the tree, put my initials, that's how I sign it whenever there's a tree painting. And then once you do it darker, then I just do a little highlight of white, little highlight on some of it. It's a really cool way to, to send a message, especially if you're doing this for Valentine's Day. Okay, so I hope you had a great time today. I enjoyed being back painting with you. And I will be back in a few weeks. I'll be back on, um, I think it's two weeks off and then I'll, I'll be back. So I can't wait to paint with you again. And I can't wait to see your Cardinals if you want to share them with me at Roe Ebert Art. Thank you so much, Capital Blue Cross Connect Health and Wellness. I love painting with everyone and I hope you, you enjoyed your session. Have a great day, everyone. The 27th is when I come back. Capital Blue is on the ball. Thank you so much. All right, I'll talk to you soon, everyone. Bye.